There's nothing quite like coming into Leslie Gulch for the first time, seeing all the hoodoos, seeing all the red rock, and, and really thinking that you're in kind of a different world. The geology of Leslie Gulch is about 15 million years old. Uh, four calderas that were in the area all were kind of going off at the same time. And then over the course of, of millions of years, erosion and weathering have really kind of crafted what you see today. And it, and it really, really gets to that timelessness that's about this place. I think the best part of being out here within the Owyhee Canyonlands is just the sense of solitude and, and the sense of waking up in the morning and hearing nothing but bird song. When I think of uh, Leslie Gulch and, and the Owyhee Canyonlands in general, I think of golden eagles, uh, a lot of the raptors. Mule deer use this area in, in large numbers, um, pronghorn antelope, and then also California bighorn sheep. Leslie Gulch has the largest population of California bighorn sheep in the country. So it's really kind of a, a last stronghold, a, a, a last place for a lot of these animals. I think the Owyhee Canyonlands are a, a place that must be protected because it's the largest remaining sagebrush steppe ecosystem that's left within the country. It's the largest uh, chunk of desert wildlands that's left to designate within the continental United States. So it's big, it's pristine, and it's spectacular. And I think that this idea of, of wilderness within the American mind where there's a place where you can go and not have the distractions of modern civilization I think you find that in the Owyhee, and I think that it's a, a, a very, very special place because of that. When I spend time alone in, in those gulches and those places, it's nice to be able to reflect about, um, you know, your life in general and, and the way that things have been going, but also the passage of time. 20 years from now, I'm hoping for there still to be uh, the canyon wrens calling and for there still to be birds of prey overhead and for us to sit there and not have to say anything but feel comforted by a place like that and feel as if it is a place where we can always go and I think that that's always valuable for each generation. The desert is a place that you return to and the Owyhee is a place that you always kind of are returning to in your mind once you've visited here.